We have to make this culture where women feel empowered, safe, and supported. We have to make sure she sees herself in all parts of the business, thriving. We have to push her through failure and pull her from despair. We have to show her that she can do it because we have done it. From here on out, it's got to be we. And I think we can all agree on that, right? So I was wondering, how do we get everyone on board to establish a community of we, founded on strength and resilience that already exists within our walls? The only thing that kept popping into my head was marriage. Don't run for the hills, stay with me, right? During a wedding ceremony, as a commitment to one another, vows are said. One person makes a whole bunch of promises, then the other person makes a whole bunch of similar promises, and voila, you're together forever. Well, at least that's the goal. So let's break down the idea of marriage to its simplest form. It is a promise, an agreed upon union, a vow that you take that no matter what comes your way in sickness and in health, for richer or poor, in good times and bad, you stick together. Don't all those things happen here all the time? We don't walk away when things get hard. That's when we show up. We reset, we bounce, we move forward together. So let's do it. Let's take some vows. I'm being serious. Can you commit to being a true leader, a support system, a mentor in this business? It comes with a mountain of accountability and dependability every day. It is your duty to carry out these actions, your responsibility for being part of a community, being part of a tribe, and being a part of power. Ready? Of course we are. We vow to learn from the past while moving forward. So I want to ask the room, and I can almost guess the answer, but do you still think about the ones that got away? The one that was a million dollar rep, or the one that was on track to being a director, or the person that you bragged was going to be the first female sales VP, but she's not here anymore. And it could have been for a lot of reasons. She couldn't handle the schedule, got too hard, she lost her focus, so you moved your focus onto the next one. If she was once so it, what happened? She failed, but also the VP failed, the director failed, the department failed, the initiative failed. No one succeeds here alone and they sure didn't fail here alone either. And I'm not bringing this up to point fingers, I'm bringing it up to find solutions. It is not our job to hold their hands and you are right about that. It is our privilege. So spend your damn privilege. If she goes off track, go get her. If her numbers start slipping, help her find traction. If she lost her why, ask her why. Go get her. Show her the way. It's our job to build and protect this business. She is the business. But first, we have to look at what went wrong. Dissect the mistakes we've made, the things we could have done better, and learn from them. Move forward. That's what this summit's all about, right? Learning, growing, building, and moving forward so that we can go from good to great. And if we want to be great, we have to recruit, ret retain, and promote. But we have to get a hell of a lot better at the last two. Critical mass means jack shit if it's just a mass. Each person has to feel like they matter because they actually do. If everyone felt like they were valuable and necessary and essential, I don't know if someone could walk away from that, even when it got damn near impossible. You don't believe me? Go ask Houston. Their customer development department was over 30% female. But that didn't come without mistakes and hardship. Joe Green and the CD team forged success out of a very toxic culture. They learned from the past. They set goals. They took action. Everything had to be intentional in order to turn the department inside out. There is purpose. There is confidence. There is failure, but there's also success. And if your office and department look so far away from 30% female, good. So is Houston's. It's not an excuse. It's a call to action. We vow to step up and step in. There is nothing heroic about doing this shit by yourself. The careers here are designed to be team-based. And if you can't think of five power people right now that you would call an emergency, then you're fucking up. People are bending over backwards to be a part of your story. Not because they want it to end well, not because they want it to end with, well, then she lived happily ever after. Power's not a fairy tale. They want to be involved because helping others makes them live happily ever after. 
But if this isn't you, and you're still operating from a me mindset, stop right now. Change today. From this day forward, you're stepping up and stepping in when your community needs it.